All right, good morning, students. We're going to go through this practice exam. And in this, we're going to go and um, we're going to talk about graphing linear and nonlinear equations. We are going to talk about how to solve simultaneous equations. I want to talk about congruency and how to prove them. Um, and lastly, we're going to talk about trigonometry and um, we're going to apply it to bearings. Okay. So we are given a formula sheet. So you've got your trigonometric ratios. And lastly, you have a, your general equation for um, a linear equation. All righty. So the first one is about plotting graphs. And um, in this one, the question said, plot the linear graph defined by the rule. So with this one, we've been given the table of values. And um, so we just have to substitute the value of x that we've been given into our rule and then um, find out what the value of y would be here, for example. So I'm going to first substitute x in there. And so I've got y equals 3 into 1 minus 3 and 3 times 1 is 3 minus 3 is 0. And so we know when x is 1, y is 0. I can go ahead and plot that on my graph. When x is 1, y is 0. Then I'll do the same thing. Wherever I have x, I'm going to put 2 in there. And so um, y equals 3 times 2 minus 3. So that's 6 minus 3, and that's 3. All right, then um, the next one is I'm going to substitute 3 in there. And I know 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. And if I substitute 4 in there, I should get 9. And so if we plot these, we'll get a straight line. And if you um if your points don't make um, create a, a straight line, then you know you've done something wrong and uh, you probably will have to check your working. So then I take a ruler and just plot a straight line through. And if you've got um, multiple lines going on the same graph, remember to label it. So that's the first one. And quite simple. And um, whenever you hear linear, think straight line. All you've got to do is create a table of values, substitute um, the x values in there for to get your y coordinates, and then plot. Okay, this next one, you're now trying to find the rule or the equation that passes through these two coordinates. So first things first, we can look at our formula sheet and see that uh, we've been given the general formula for the uh, linear equation, which is y equals mx plus c. Here, m is our gradient, and c is our y-intercept. That means where it crosses the y-axis. And so we need to find both of these things to be able to um, create our equation. So we need m and we need c. y and x are just our variables. Okay, to get m, we know that's change in y over change in x. You would have learned it in previous years as rise over run. But that's just basically subtracting the y values divided by uh, the difference in the x values. And so if we look at our coordinates, the first point's x, the next one's y. Same thing with the other one. Now I'll use 6 minus 3. So that's 6 minus the 3 there. Divided by 4 minus 2. Remember to be consistent. If you're going 6 minus 3, you have to go 4 minus 2. You can't go the other way. That will give me 3 on 2, which is 1.5. And the next part is to find um, C. But first, I will rewrite my equation with my newfound M. So M is 1.5x plus C. So the only thing left to find now is my y-intercept. Now I can use any of the two points that I've been given in the question to find C. I'll use the first pair of coordinates 2 and 3. So using 2, 3, we'll find C. So I'm going to put um, Y to be 3 and X to be 2. And so from here, I'll just expand this. So 1.5 times 2 is 3 plus C. And from here, I can um, subtract 3 on both sides 
to get rid of the 3 on the right hand side here and so that will um, become 0 and also C then 3 minus 3 is 0 on the other side as well so basically that means C is 0 and my final equation will be Y equals 1.5x right we'll quickly do this um, parallel and perpendicular lines as well so here if you've got um, parallel um, lines for example so this one let's read the question first it says state whether uh, these pair of equations are parallel perpendicular or neither and you've got to explain your choice all right for this one if we look at these two equations again they should be in the form y equals mx plus c and m is the gradient with parallel lines if we have the gradient being the same meaning m is the same that means they are parallel so we can say because the two equations have the same gradient they are parallel so with parallel it's quite simple with perpendicular we um, again look at the gradients and if we look at the gradients um, at the bottom here we can see one of them is negative 1 over 4 and one is 4 now for perpendicular lines if the gradient of the first one we'll call it m1 which is negative a quarter and the gradient of the second one is 4 if we multiply m1 times m2 and we get exactly negative 1 then it's perpendicular so we can test this and say okay negative a quarter times 4 and that is negative 1 surely it is perpendicular so you can say the two pair the pair of equations are perpendicular and if you just wanted to to visualize it if they are parallel they're going to be straight lines that never meet if they're perpendicular they're going to be at a right angle like that alrighty stay tuned for the next video